There were shouts of shame on you when Parliament was prorogued, suspended in the early hours of Tuesday. About half of the MPs there thought this move by the government was illegal. Court. Well, now the highest civil court in Scotland has agreed. Each opinion expresses the view that the advice given by the government to Her Majesty the Queen to prorogue Parliament from 9th September to 14th October was unlawful and that therefore the prorogation itself is unlawful. One of the judges, Lord Brodie, concluded that the principal reasons for the prorogation were to prevent or impede Parliament holding the executive to account and legislating with regard to Brexit, and to allow the executive to pursue a policy of a no-deal Brexit without further parliamentary interference. MPs have brought the case have written to the government to say Parliament must now be recalled. The prorogation having been ruled unlawful, we should be able to get back down there and do our, do our jobs. The court also said that the Prime Minister's advice to the Queen to prorogue was unlawful. For his opponents, that raises serious questions. The Prime Minister must or should have been entirely frank as to the motives and background for which it was being sought. And if, in fact, it were to turn out that he was not, then, in my view, he has really no option but to resign. This afternoon, opposition MPs demanded that Parliament reopen, but the government is appealing today's decision, and supporters of the Prime Minister say it is another judgment that's important. These uh, MPs seem to love uh, courts, but they don't trust the court of public opinion, and that is the general election which the Prime Minister offered them on Monday, and they ran a mile away from it. A hearing of the Supreme Court will start on Tuesday. But for now, the gates of Parliament remain locked, another vivid symbol of the Brexit stalemate.